Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on the first floor of the fireworks factory. We got some Eclipse fireworks that are now selling well in the shopping district. But today, guys, we got something that is going to... 100% just poop my pants. Make Tango poop his pants. Because today, we are going to work on this permit. The All the Horns permit. So... Basically, we're going to have hermit horns, we're going to have pop culture horns. My name is Jeff. And at the end of the episode, ultimately we want people to basically be saying, What is happening? That's pre pretty much what we, uh, what we are going to have. That that's basically the goal. We want people to be able to say, What is happening? All the time to these goat horns, because... We're going to have so many of these things. If you don't know, we have like a custom mod on Hermitcraft, which allows us to put uh, audio files, like MP3 files, on goat hordes and things. Uh, so, let's... <laughs> right, let's start stripping, babies. No, Ren, not, let's not start stripping, but let's start looking for some goats around here. Because in order to get these horns, we need some goats, and in particular, we need a goat farm. So, I'm going to head to the mountains behind the firework factory, see if we can spot some. This is going to be an insane project, though. I'm hoping to get at least one horn for each hermit. Looks like this is a wolf suspended on a trapdoor next to what I believe was a old Joe Hills outpost here. No goats here, though, it looks like. Let's check this one. This is next to our raid farm, which is over here. You can see. Uh, let's see if there's any goats up here. Usually they're on tops of mountains and stuff. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. We got goats. One, two, three, four, five. At least five or six. Plus bees, apparently. <laughs> bees also congregating at the top of the hill. Perfect. This will work. Uh, so we need some blocks. We need some wheat. We need to start breeding these goats up and acquiring their horns as well. All right, guys. So here's the goals for today. Uh, so basically, we want to have enough goat horns by the end of the day to have all the vanilla goat horns. So there's eight of those. Plus, we want to have one goat horn for every hermit, at least, at a minimum. So that is like 30-some goat horns. So we're going to have to breed these guys up. I went and got some hay bales from Cleo's area. And yeah, we put a bed down here. Plus, I found this amazing, like, flattened area down here where I think this could be a good spot to set up shop with the goats. So I'm thinking right now, one area for goat ramming to get the horns. And then once the goats are dehorned, then we take them over to the breeding area over here where we can breed them up. And then we take the babies over to the, uh, yeah, the area over here to ram us to get the horns. And then we just continue that cycle until we get a whole bunch of horns. We also will need some goats for the shop because I want to integrate goats in the shop because to be honest, I want to see people be get rammed. Like I want ramming to be a threat when they're in the shop. <laughs> I think that would be really fun. So uh, let's bring some goats down here. We can hopefully bring a few down with some wheat because they should follow us if we have wheat in our hand. Let's just see. There we go. Okay, come on down. There we go. All right, yeah, so we'll lead all these guys down here. We'll make a little facility down here to house them. So the idea here is that we have one facility on the other side, right here. This is going to be the breeding facility, so we'll always try and keep at least two goats in here. And then on this side, this is going to be where the ramming takes place. So we got packed ice here, which is a natural block, so the goats can ram this, and if they miss us when they're ramming, uh, they will hopefully hit this block and their horn pops off. So let's eat something so we can continue walking around okay. We got some leads here as well. And we're going to lead one goat over here. See if we can't... Don't, don't, don't you try to escape, little guy. See if we can't get some... Uh, potentially get some uh, goat horns over here. Uh, okay, this little guy is trying to get out. Looks like he can't, though. That's good news. Okay, let's make our way out here. We're going to try to pull this guy in here. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's see if this works. I'm going to stand here. And we should see the goat lower his head. Yep. And then there... Yeah, the goat horn pops off. What do we get? We got feel. Beautiful. All right. Perfect. 
And then let's just make our way down to this end. This also has packed ice, as you can see. Very good. So now we just wait. There's two horns on each goat, although I think there's a small chance that goats can spawn with just one. It might be worthwhile to get more goats over here, too, that have horns. All right, let's see. He's staring us down. Is this the moment? It's not. What if I look away? Oh! Looking away, look. Worked. Okay. Uh, we got another feel. Okay, so same one. So one of these can be the vanilla one, and one of these we can put a new uh, horn sound on it. All right, guys, so check it out. So we got uh, two shulker boxes now. We got the vanilla ones. That sound. Feel goat horn. And we got this one, which is a non-vanilla horn. This is Mumbo. I'm eating a curly whirly right now, but it's nice to see Exuma. <laughs> there we go. That is going to be perfect for anybody running and encountering Asuma. In fact, is Asuma on right now? No, the next time Asuma comes on, though... We're going to go to him and just play this and see what... I'm eating a curly whirly right now, but it's nice to see Exuma. <laughs> see what he says. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There's one goat horn down. About a hundred more to go. You think if we taunt the goats, it'll actually make them charge us faster? You're looking mighty ugly, friend. You're looking mighty ugly. Oh, he was going. He was going. You saw it. You know what the nastiest form of milk in the game is? Goat milk. Goat milk is absolutely disgusting. I can't stand it. Why would anyone, for any reason, ever eat goat milk in this game? It's beyond me. I have no clue. Hey, it worked. The taunting works. Taunting works confirmed. Excuse me, I just gotta see what this is. It is another ponder. Okay. You know what that means. We got one goat horn for vanilla and one for a new hermit horn. Let's do it. This next one I can see becoming a favorite of some of the hermits. This is another B-dubs horn and it works really well if you're pointing toward an area. You're like, hmm, right there? Right there? Oh, yeah, up there. That's nice. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. You know the smelliest animal in the game is the goat? Oh, he big bad. He big bad. What do we got? What do we got? Sing. Do, do, do. The intimidation does work, by the way. Oh, look out. Another one. What do we got? What do we got? Feel. All right, another one, another feel. So this can be a hermit horn, potentially, since we already got the vanilla one. Although we probably want to have a couple of vanilla ones, to be honest. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, the goat horns are coming in. Next up, we got another false symmetry classic, which can apply in a bunch of different situations. Check this one out. If we don't move, she won't kill us. Next up, we got an Iskall horn. Oh my goodness! Which I think is pretty good. That's a good one. Uh, so there's a horn from Iskall. For our next horn, another Mumbo Classic. How, how can you... Wait, wait. So, hang on. There we go. <laughs> For any time you're confused, I think that's a great horn. All right, guys, so we now have about a dozen hermit horns here uh, from various hermits. Uh, we also have some pop culture ones, uh, like this one here. Which is my personal favorite. Uh, so that's really good. We got all the regular horns. Uh, we have three of each that we're going to sell. and We're going to use the rest of these for hermit horns. Now what we're looking for is a, a screaming goat. Uh, so we need a goat that basically... A goat that basically... Uh, yeah. Will scream all the time. And charge people more often. That's what we're looking for now. There's a 2% chance to get this when you breed up goats. Doesn't look like any of these guys are one, though. But we'll keep trying and seeing if we can get one. Come on, screaming goat. Screaming goat, where you at? Gotta be one. Come on, now. How many goats is too many goats? Is it this amount? They've actually started running into each other, and now they... They will just simply drop horns now, randomly, <laughs> as you can see. There's a horn there. I think one dropped. Yeah, there's just one laying in the middle of the room. What is happening? This is awesome. All right, anyways, we're getting a ton of horns, guys. I've looked up a bunch of clips over the last day and a half or so, 
And yeah, we're going to do a lightning round of Hermit Clips. All right, guys, we now have a plethora of Hermit Horns that we have created, some of which are in my hotbar right now. By the way, if anybody has any good clips from Wells Knight, Jevin, XB Crafted, or Doc M, uh, and also Stress Monster, those five people were the hardest to find clips for, so we only have like one or two of those folks. Um, but yeah, let's just get into these horns. These are quite fun, and we're going to start off with a banger from Mr. Grin. Pluck my nose hair and send me to Alaska. <laughs> Which, out of context, is kind of wild. It's kind of wild. Then I got one from myself. Help! Help! Which I think could be pretty funny in some situations. <laughs> like the boy who cried wolf. Uh, then we got, I think, Iskall here. What are you doing? Very good one. Very good one. Applicable, applicable in a lot of situations. Uh, so that's great. Then we have Corrales being super creepy. Canaries. What's your favorite scary movie? Believe it or not, that is Corrales. Can, <laughs> it does not sound like Corrales at all, but there he is. There he is. There he is. Then we got Beef. Thumbs up for murder. Beautiful. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. Then, of course, we got the one and only Skizzle Man. So, so is that, is somebody, is, that's all, folks. <laughs> All right, there's Skizzle. And then we got Hypno. I'm a smart the Hypno. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, then we got a one, another one from Tango. You can nook without cranny, but you, you best not be cranny and nook free. That's wise advice from Tango right there. And then we got Cleo uh, in the upper pitched voice that she sometimes can do. Oh, no, no, not Jello. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Those are just... A small sampling of what we have from just the first chest. <laughs> oh, baby. The hermits uh, the, the hermits are going <laughs> to question the fact that I even got this permit. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna regret the fact that I got the permit, guys. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, ultimately, I want like a thousand goat horns to play on the server. Um, so... Yeah, there we have it. Uh, let me just give you a couple of random ones from this one. Uh, let's just take a look at one from Scar here. Take a look at how big my booty is. Yep, yep. That, 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 you know, that's just... Let's see, how about this one? I think this one's from Joe Hills. What is the difference between music and not music? Great question. Deep philosophical question there. Here's one from uh, Smallish Beans. He's the sort of person to use non-bio laundry detergent. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, and yeah, we also have like some variants of things, by the way. Uh, so yeah, for this, <laughs> so for instance, this one from Joel is not the same as this one from Joel from Smaller Beans. Check it out. I'm sorry for getting angry at you there. There's that one, and then there's a variant. I'm sorry for getting angry at you there. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah, some of these are like little like variants on things. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, yeah, those are the goat horns we got. Uh, we still are working on getting the vanilla, um, the vanilla screaming goat. So that's sort of our next task. I uh, have somewhere. Yes, some hay bales. I'm going to turn these into wheat. Let's get ourselves a screaming goat. All right, everyone, we found a screaming a screaming baby. It's that one right there. You can see it's also a bit more aggressive than the other baby here. Uh, and so the plan is to wait wait for this guy to <laughs> grow up and we can breed these two goats uh, so they can make a... They'll have a 50% chance at least to breed up a screaming goat. Yeah, this guy is very aggressive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, finally got that baby goat bred up and separated from the rest of the goats. Uh, so I think we're going to have one population of screaming goats here. And then one of the regular goats in here. Uh, so, yeah, for now, it's back into here. Hopefully we can get a few more goat horns here. Just like that. Very good. And, yeah, we'll keep going. You know, I think when we put our goats in the shop, we got to make them all screaming goats so that they're really frequently <laughs> charging at people. Because this is, this is insane. This is insane. Look at him go. That guy's charging. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta get out of here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have been busy here collecting goat horns. We got a whole bunch more goat horns here of the vanilla type from the Screaming Goats. And we've transferred some of those goat horns into some other interesting horns, let's just say. We now have almost 100 custom horns that I have made just today alone. That's right. That's right. We're going wild with this. Of course we are. You know this channel. Jeez. All right. Let's hear some. Let's hear some. First of all, we got... This crazy thing that I found that ZF made at one time. Hello and welcome to another Hermitcraft episode with me, Hermitcraft. I am Hermitcraft. <laughs> I don't really know why I added this one, but it just seemed awesome that Zed like made like a compilation of people doing a Hermitcraft intro. So that was awesome. So I added it. Uh, next up, we got Scar. Come on in, Trader Scar. She's definitely not going to eat you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this one, uh, you actually might, Etho. You actually might have a good idea here. You actually might have a good idea here. There we go. Etho, famous for uh, not necessarily giving compliments to people. Uh, next up, we got Tango with the one that's a little bit spicy. Mine is so much bigger than this. Dang, Tango. What the heck, man? <laughs> I will say that was absolutely taken out of context, but still... It's pretty hilarious. Next up, we got an Oh My God, this one from Asuma. Oh my God! <laughs> there we go. This is, I think, the fourth Oh My God horn now. Uh, if we include impulses, we have, I think, one from Iskol. Uh, a couple, maybe one or two other people. I, I forgot. I've added so many horns, guys. Uh, next up, we got XB. Hey, you. Back it up. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then we got a ZF horn uh, from ZF himself. Hey, whoa, whoa, what was all that about? No, 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 there's nothing shady or weird going on here. It's just just building the base. There we go. And then we have one from Jem. If you get an opportunity, just kill Etho. There you go. There you go. Guys, we are adding so many horns. It's glorious. It's glorious. There's a lot more where that came from. Uh, these are not even like the best ones. Like there are more like crazy ones than this. Uh, so we're just going to put these in here. There we go. Let's just get another one. Oh, yeah. Asuma, this is illegal. This is illegal. <laughs> these are going to be great. Okay. So I think we got 100 horns. That's probably good enough to start the shop. So I'm going to pack all these boxes up and we're going to start to look for a shopping place or a shopping place. We're going to look for a space in the shopping district, rather, to put these things. You know, guys, we were going to go and put down a shop somewhere, but instead I decided to add some more uh, goat horns, so... Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Let's go! This is going to jump scare so many people. Oh, my God. All right. Anyways, to the shopping district now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hermitcraft shopping district. You can see a couple of new shops popping up in the background here in various spots. However, our shop is going to go right here between the item frame shop and the glow ink sack shop. I think it's a good spot for it. Pretty open space here, and I've already actually claimed the area. Uh, for this shop, basically I'm thinking just a big goat horn. Uh, I want it to be sort of a modern shop, but also needs to incorporate some things from the other shops around it, so like some stone and stuff. Uh, on Like on this shop, both of these have some stone elements to it. Uh, as well as a little bit of copper. There's a little bit of greenery as well. So we'll incorporate each of those so it fits into this area nicely. Um, and then, but basically the idea is right now, I have a big sign that says horns across the bottom so that people know what the shop is from a distance. Like even if you're, you know, if you're flying through the shopping district, if you're looking around, like over here, you can see this shop with the basalt. Something like that, except maybe not with the letters like all jumbled up on the terrain. Um, so just straight across horns and then a manifestation of the actual goat horn. This guy here, this one right here. If we don't move, she won't kill us. That one, but like, if you can imagine, yeah, like that right there. Boom. That guy in that spot. That's the plan. Let's see if we can do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome back, everybody. So we got ourselves a shop taking shape. We got our primary blocks, the tough, the azalea leaves, the gray concrete, right? 
Those are going to be our primary building blocks. Those are sort of what we want to shape things around. So we got grays, greens, and also grays, I guess, darker grays. Uh, but this will help out because when we make the actual uh, giant horn, check it out. The horn itself is actually gray. So this is going to go well with the tuff. Uh, now we do need something here, which is going to be the sign, the horn sign across here in uh, smooth quartz uh, fashion. That's going to add extra depth and color. I can just quickly show you if I just place down blocks here. Oh my gosh, amazing. Depth and color, ladies and gentlemen, helps out a lot in transitioning this from the green of the azalea to the uh, gray of the tough. So that's going to be super useful. I actually have to get more quartz. I'm kind of low right now. Uh, then we're also going to have some orange that's going to be sort of a complementary color to everything, uh, including this gray concrete we have down here. Uh, which should be super nice. I've also added some uh, gray stained glass panes, which I think we might add like around here, although it might need something else here too to transition to the pane itself. Um, so that is a possibility. I think we might need something like anvils might work really nicely here because it has kind of a cool shape. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, as far as where we're going to be selling the goat horns, those are going to be actually sold up here. we got a swift little elevator here, which reverses uh, once you get up to the top here. Uh, so then you can go back down that way. But up here is where we're going to be selling the goat horns, plus the giant goat horn, plus the back side is going to have an identical horn sign uh, that's going to be the same as the front. We do have an interior in here. No clue what we're going to do here, but progress is being made here, ladies and gentlemen. So um, let's get going and keep working on this shop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And here is the horn shop. I know what you're thinking. That's it. I'm in. That's what you're thinking, right? Right? Or maybe some of you guys, some of you guys might be like, oh, snappers. Yeah. Either way, really liking the way that this shop looks. And yeah, we added some cool things down here. We added some like flowering azalea leaves and some uh, lily pads to the uh, the greenery in the front here, which I think, yeah, sets it off pretty nicely. Uh, we also added the anvils, which do work really well. They show a little bit of the leaves, but not too much. We put some torch flowers down here as sort of another orange accent along with these lanterns. Uh, we added some, yeah, obviously the giant goat horn and some chains. I think these chains really like sort of put in the weight of the goat horn, I guess. Uh, so yeah, really digging the way that looks. It sort of like holds it in place and things, uh, which is really cool. Obviously we got some trap doors up there again with the orange accents here, lightning rod here with the orange accent where we actually purchased the goat horns. If I can just make my way up here. Um, so let me just put some of these away here that we've already, uh, put out. Uh, we also got some other horns here. I'll just show you just some examples of horns. Use the hammer, mate. Use the hammer. It's hammer time. That's a sumo right there. And then we got pearlescent moon doing a Gemini Tay impression. Okay, I cannot stress this enough. This is not gem. Pearl. That's Pearl doing a gem impression. It's insane. It's insane. Pearl does an amazing gem impression, I have to say. So props to Pearl for that. Uh, so that is available for purchase. The Asuma one is. And then we have some pop culture ones, including this banger from Michael Scott. I declare bankruptcy! There you go. <laughs> There you go. So I know a couple people will be interested in those Michael Scott ones. Uh, and we have, yeah, plenty of additional horns. The Hermit horns and the Pop Culture horns are one goat horn for 32 diamonds. So pretty pricey, but yeah, definitely still affordable. And then the Vanilla ones are one goat horn for eight diamonds. Uh, and then, yeah, of course, since we're opening the shop, we got to light off some fireworks. Let's just see what we got. Some nice star-shaped ones. We got a few other, yeah, big ball fireworks. Then we got some stars. Very nice. All right, beautiful, beautiful. And of course, on the other side, we also uh, have an entrance here, decorated and everything. So yeah, it looks pretty good from this side as well. Uh, and then we have to figure out something to do on the inside. We'll have to decorate the inside with something. Not exactly sure quite what yet, but. Yeah, pretty nifty shop, and yeah, I think the design of it looks really cool, and I hope that you guys do as well. However, that is going to be it for me today, guys. I know I said I was going to incorporate goats into the shop design, but I have a different plan for those goats now uh, that we'll implement very soon to sort of promote the shop a little bit. I think it should be a rather fun plan, but for now, that's it for me. Thank you all very much for watching, 
If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Farewell.